Hell yeah, what's up guys? This is Curtis Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. We're looking at some more production value techniques. We're using HitFilm Express and we're teaching you how to become the best video editor you know using only free tools, free software, free techniques, free tutorials. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to add a vignette to your video for free, of course. It's these nice little shades here around the edges. You'll see here in the four corners. If you look at the original footage, it's kind of old. It's, um, it's all lit uh, uniformly. Where in this one, we've got some shade around the edges. Why would you do that? Well, it's a photography technique. And the real reason why is it, it draws your attention to the center. And in the center of this film, well, we're at a zombie dance party. Let me show you. Yeah, these guys are zombies doing zombie things, and then this guy just is starting to bust a move for no real apparent reason. But it's Friday, and you guys want to go zombie dancing? Go zombie dancing. All right, so we're trying to draw attention to this zombie in the middle here. So how do we do it? How do we create the vignette? Very simple. Let's start from scratch. So I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to bring it in the footage. I'm going to left-click on the footage, and I'm just going to drag it onto video track one. Okay, good, here we go. We've got the footage up and running, roll out. The next step is you wanna to go to your effects panel over here and then type in vignette like I have. So there you go, typed it in. Now you will notice that there are a few options here. What you want is the one under color grading. Left click on vignette here under color grading and just drag and drop that onto the timeline. When you do that, presto, it's already have it's already got a vignette applied to it. It's a subtle vignette, if I'm being honest. It's not very, very strong. So you can go in and make some changes. If you go to controls, go to vignette, and then now we can go ahead and adjust things. Like, well, let's, the strength is set to maximum, but if you want to adjust the width, for example, you want it less, if you want more, there you go. You see why well, we're getting a little bit more in there, and then we could adjust the height. Whoa, we're kind of Looney Tunes in here, but something like that. That is, yeah, th there you go. That's pretty subtle. So let's turn the effect off, effect on. That's how you create a vignette. You'll also notice that I had a different color. And what I did there, I'll just quickly show you, is I'm going to go to my effects, and then I'm just going to delete these, and then I'm going to go to the bottom here. And under presets, there is a couple options for, for quick film looks. So if you go to presets, Go to film looks. You just have to click open these triangles as you drop down. The one I was using earlier was hard. No, it wasn't. It wasn't hard cool. It was soft cool. There we go. And just drag and drop that onto the timeline. And bang. Now you've got a nice bluish tinged, pretty bright, you know, horror look just to match with the kind of footage this is. It looks like a scary movie. You've got a vignette. A vignette is also useful as well for like remembering things. So if you're doing like a uh, sequence where your actor or actress is trying to remember something from the past, a vignette's a good way to indicate that. So that's all there is to it. We color corrected it and we made a vignette in about two minutes. This is another free, awesome production value technique. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.